Ernie, I've heard you referred to as a Kansas City Comet. Uh, tell us about your football speed. Actually, I've never been timed in the 100-yard dash at the academy. I was timed it in high school once, and I ran it in 9.8, but I weighed 185 pounds then. Since I've been at the academy, I've lost 20 pounds and feel considerably quicker. Here's what the Air Force's great quarterback, Bob Parker, has to say about his favorite receiver. Two of our biggest victories this year were against Stanford and Missouri, and these were probably Ernie's best games of the year also. Against Missouri, we used Ernie as a deep receiver, throwing to him on a flag pattern deep to the outside, and Ernie was able to get open most of the day and caught two touchdown passes. Against Stanford, we used Ernie more on a short pattern, and I believe he caught 13 passes that afternoon for three touchdowns. Well, perhaps the one word which best describes the Air Force Academy offense is flexibility. We run from many different formations, uh, the pro set with wide receivers and a power set with the eye backfield. And we're led by Bob Parker, number 10, who's one of our very best quarterbacks ever. Throws the ball exceptionally well and is a very heady tactician. And behind him is Brian Bream, our running back, and he's a slasher, number 49, a real daylight runner. And of course, number 22, the best wide receiver we've ever had in Falcon football history, Ernie Jennings. He can catch them all. Our most effective running plays are those which are designed to complement our passing attack. Included in these are draw plays, counters, and corner plays. Usually, I'll just try to find daylight and run wherever my blockers open the holes. On defense, uh, the Falcons like to move around a lot and use versatility in defending each opponent. We try to conceal our stunts and our alignments, and we use many, many deployments. And up front, number 61, Billy Mayfield, an unusual athlete in that he's very short but very quick, uh, leads the charges. He'll rush the pass or drop back on pass defense. Because of our size, we rely a lot on trickery. We stunt quite a bit, and we have a varied alignment. We're going to New Orleans to play in the Sugar Bowl, and believe me, we're not going to be embarrassed. The type of young man that we actively seek to be a cadet athlete uh, has to be intelligent, he has to be physically qualified for appointment, and he has to be a quick learner because we only have 90 minutes a day to practice football, and the cadets like a challenge. Our student athletes really like to wear to the best, and so the challenge in the Sugar Bowl against the University of Tennessee is just to our liking.